Okay, so hey guys, welcome. Um, and let's get started into our lesson. We are at the end of unit nine. So we're doing 9F. Hi, Solange. I'm good as well. Thank you. I'm doing very well. I was glad there was a bit of sunshine today. <laughs> so it's been so cold. It's good to see a little bit of sunshine. Um, yes, sunshine. So we're going to get straight into our unit. So we're up to um, 9F. So if you remember, we're looking at entertainment. All this unit, we've been talking about entertainment. We've invited people. We know how to respond and say yes or no. And we know how to make arrangements. So not just to say, yes, I'll come to a plan, but where do I meet you? What time? Whereabouts? Um, what do I need to bring? So that's arrangements. So this lesson, we're going to be looking at wildlife, filming wildlife. So, you know, like documentaries. You've watched probably a lot of documentaries. Um, the caption, so this is called a caption. It says the, photo, the photographer took this photo of an ocelot in Peru using a camera trap. So the photographer, the one who takes the photo, took this photo, so past tense, in Peru using a camera trap. So let's have a look at what a camera trap is. A camera trap. So it must be something that he can just sit, leave it, and then um, it just keeps recording. So he doesn't need to hold the camera. That's a camera trap so that you could film the animals um, and the animals will not know. They'll come and you can see what the animals do in their, in their time. And you can film at night. So it must have like night vision. It can film at night. So that's called a camera trap. You can see one here, a camera trap. So the photographer does not need to be there. He can be at home or in the wherever, and he can just log into the computer and see what the camera is recording. And this is good because the animal doesn't know because if the animal sees you, the animal will not come. Or it's probably dangerous if you are nearby. Um, and uh, filming an ocelot, ocelot. So that's this cat-like animal, ocelot. Yeah, I think, yeah, also very cute, the, but maybe very dangerous. So that's the animal. Okay, so that's what we know from the caption. We read the caption, we understand the photo. So let's go to the next page. So do you ever watch wildlife documentaries and why or why not? I think someone said they love wildlife documentaries. Can't remember who. No? I used to a long time ago. Now, sometimes, maybe I'll watch it for a little bit, you know, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. But um, does anyone watch wildlife documentaries, like really love watching wildlife documentaries? Not really? No? No? Yeah, same, not really. We prefer more movies, right? Comedy or thriller. But it's, really interesting for me. it's not? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit, yeah. You have to be in the mood. Like you have to feel like. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, for me, I could watch it a little bit and then I'll change the channel. So why do you think this animal, let's go back to the image, is difficult to video? Why? Yeah, it's quite a fast animal, so you can't capture it very easily. It's dangerous for yourself to be close to this animal. Yeah, you'll be putting yourself at risk, at danger. Um. 
the time yeah maybe it comes at night yeah so it's not just in the daytime maybe it comes at night um hey Arjun. so it's quite difficult okay let's look at some vocab so we have some sentences and the words that are in bold we want to know what they mean so these words in black we want to know what they mean, A, B, C, D, E. So if the sentence is, there are rainforest across Central and South America, what is a rainforest? It's a noun. What's a rainforest? A rainforest, what is it? A rainforest is a places with many trees and different types of wildlife. Yeah, rain forests. I'd love, I love to go to, to South America to see these ones. I love the Amazon. So that's a rainforest, rainforest. Amazing. Okay, mm. so number one is number one C. If I said you can use camera traps, remember I showed you the image before, to photograph animals at night what's a camera trap i showed you the image before number two a camera trap is yeah something that takes photos when an animal moves in front of it to a camera trap A kingaju lives in a rainforest. What's a kingaju? No, that's a uh, one C. That's rainforest. Maybe a small animal. A group of people working together. I think it's a small animal because if we replace this word with small animals live in a rainforest, yeah, I think kingaju is a small animal. So 3E, let's have a look at the image. King, king, kaju, king, kaju. Yeah, small animal. This is this, this is this, the king kaju. So a kinkajou lives in the rainforest. Kinkajou, that's this one. It looks so cute. It does. I wonder if it, well, maybe no. I wonder what it sounds like. Yeah, maybe it's, uh, it looks like it's got claws, very sharp claws. It looks like it can get very <laughs> nasty very angry quickly i don't know kinkajou so that's a kinkajou but it looks cute yes so number three e leopards are a species of big cats just means like a type they're a type of big cats like lions and tigers so what does species mean type or group of animal yeah so four B. Adrian 
that's the man, works, the photographer, Adrian, the photographer, works with a team who help him. What's a team? What does that word mean, team? Group of people working together, the same how you guys work together to do your presentations in a team, teamwork, team, team effort, team spirit. We've got lots of words that we use for team. So, yeah, team is a group of people working together. 5D. Good. So now we know some vocabs. Uh, let's watch a video. So we're, gonna, we're going to be watching a video about this documentary, about the image that we saw in the beginning with the, the ocelot in Peru and the camera trap and the photographer. So let's watch the video. Just watch it the first time. And the second time when we watch it, we're going to see which one happened first, number A, number F, so we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So what happened in the film first? But the first time, just watch it. Okay, so let's watch uh, the video first. This is the rainforest in Honduras. Thousands of animals live here, but we rarely see them. That's because they live in the trees, and they don't off with other activity at the time. This is Adrian Seymour and his team. Adrian is a filmmaker. He is working in the Honduran rainforest. Adrian wants to film the animals that humans never see. No. Adrian is going to use camera traps to film the animals. He climbs up into the trees and puts camera traps in different places. When the animal moves, a camera films it. Adrian and the team put six camera traps around different parts of the rainforest. Now Adrian has to wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. Ten weeks later, Adrian returns to the freeze and collects his camera traps. He hopes they go to some good pictures of him. Back in his office, Adrian starts to study the film from the camera. All the camera traps show something. But in a lot of the pictures, Adrian can't see all animals. He doesn't know if there is a problem with the cameras or if there is something out there. Then suddenly he sees something in a picture. It's a kinkajou. In fact, there are two kinkajous. Kinkajous only live in rainforests. They eat meat and fruit. These two are looking for fruit. And one of them found the camera. Adrian's camera traps work. So he's going to use them for features to film a lot of other species of animals. Okay, so now let's watch it again. And number four. And number we'll do number four and then we'll watch it again and do number five. This is the rainforest in Honduras. Thousands of animals live here. And we rarely see them. That's because they live in the trees. They don't often come out in the daytime. This is Adrian Seymour and his team. Adrian is a filmmaker. He is working in the Honduran rainforests. Adrian wants to film the animals that humans never see. Adrian is going to use camera traps to film the animals. He climbs into the trees. He puts camera traps in different places. When the animal moves, a point fills it. Adrian and the team put six camera traps around different parts of the rainforest. Now Adrian has to wait. Wait. And wait. And wait.
four weeks into Adrian returns to the baby school room. He says, Poor. He knows they don't know the room for two million. Back in his office, Adrian starts to study the film from the camera. And all the camera comes filmed Sunday. In front of the pictures, Adrian can't see all the cameras. He doesn't know if there is a problem with the cameras or if there is something. Then suddenly he sees something in the picture. It's a kinkajou. In fact, there are two kinkajous. Kinkajous only live in green forests. They eat meat and fruit. These two are looking for fruit. And one of them found a camera. Kinkajous and were trapped to work. So he's going to get used to it in the future. To film a lot of other species of animals. Okay, so what do we think happened first? Did he get up? Did he go to bed? Did he walk through the rainforest? Put a camera trap in a tree? Taking a camera trap off a tree? Looking for animals in the photos? Having a bath? watching an animal on his computer, or climbing up a tree. Getting yeah, we, no. He's walking through the rainforest. That's number one. So we saw him. So don't worry, we'll watch it again. Uh, but let's get the answers. So we saw him walking through the rainforest. So. He's walking through the rainforest. And what grammar tense is that? What a uh, verb tense? He is walking. Mm -hmm. Present mm -hmm. continuous. Yeah. So he's walking through the rainforest. That's number one. Number two. He's climbing. Climbing up a tree. Yeah. So I... Number three, what did what happened after? He's putting a camera trap in a tree. Yep. So D. Mm -hmm. Number four. No, he's getting up. That's number four. Number five, he's having a bath. Don't worry if you missed it. Like I said, we'll watch it again. He's having a bath. That's what we saw. And after, when he finished the bath, he's going to bed. And after... He's taking a camera trap off a tree. Yep. Uh, he's taking a camera trap, E. After E, that's number seven. Yeah, he's looking for animals in the photos. So F, number eight. And the last thing that we saw in the video. On his computer. Yep, H, that's the last one. So number one, you can put a one next to C, two next to I, three next to D, four, A, five, G, six, B, seven, E, eight, F, and nine, H. Uh, let's watch again and you'll see that that's what we saw happening in the video. But at the same time, let's do number five. So we've got to answer some questions. Where is the rainforest? Is it in Guatemala, Costa Rica or Honduras? So you got to pick one. Where do a lot of the animals live? In the river, in trees or under the ground? How many camera traps does Adrian put in trees? Six, 16, or 60? 
How long does Adrian wait before he looks at his camera trap? Four hours, four days, or four weeks? When Adrian looks at the first photos, what does he think? He thinks the camera doesn't work. He doesn't think there are any animals. He doesn't know what the problem is. He sees a kinkajou in the pictures. Which three facts are true about kinkajous? They come out at night. They live in rainforest. They also live in the desert or they eat meat and fruit. So there's three correct answers for number six. Okay, so let's watch and have a have a look at what's happening in the video and at the same time answering number five. And we'll come back and check it. This is the rainforest in Honduras. Thousands of animals live here, and we rarely see them. That's because they live in the trees, where they often come to live. This is Adrian Singh, and we see Adrian is hungry. He's working in the Honduran rainforest. Adrian wants to join the animals that he has never seen. Adrian is confused and reverse at the rules. He finds a few of the things he keeps playing with us in different places. But then believes a camera he brings him. Adrian and the team put six camera packs on a different parts of the rainforest. Now Adrian has to wait. And wait. And wait. Four weeks later, Adrian returns to the trees and collects his camera pads. He hopes to take on some good pictures of the animals. Back in his office, Adrian starts to study the film of the camera. All the camera traps sold something. But in a lot of the pictures, Adrian can't see any animals. He doesn't know if there is a problem with the cameras or if there is something out there. Then suddenly he sees something in the picture. It's a kinkajou. In fact, there are two kinkajous. Kinkajous only live in rainforests. They eat meat and fruit. These two are looking for fruit. And one of them found a camera. Adrian's camera traps work, so he's going to use them in the future to film a lot of other species of animals. Okay, so let's answer some questions. Where is the rainforest? Honduras. In Honduras? Yes. So... One C in Honduras. Where do a lot of the animals live? In trees. Yeah. Two B. How many camera traps does Adrian put in the trees? Six. How long does Adrian wait before he looks at his camera traps? Four weeks. Four weeks. Four C. When Adrian looks at the first photos, what does he think? He doesn't know what the problem is. Five C. Hmm. And the last one, he sees a kinkajou in the pictures. Which three are true about kinkajous? They live in rainforests. They live in rainforests, yeah. They eat meat and fruit. They eat meat and fruit. And they come out at night, yes. 
So A, B, and D for number six. Okay, let's watch again with some vocab. It's a short little video and it's got some words for you, but we'll do it together. So what does rarely mean? Okay. Not often. It's another word for hardly. I hardly read a book these days because I'm so busy. I rarely. I'm out. Yeah. So if you say to your friend, do you want to come out tonight? That means like, do you want to go somewhere tonight? Do you want to come out tonight? Four weeks later, Adrian returns to the dreams and walks his camera effects. Collects. If I collect something, you know, you collect your mail, you collect your... Takes away because you're collecting something. You're picking up something and taking it away. Study. Look closely at. I know you think it means read and learn, but when you study something, you're Easy. looking. If I'm looking for something, I'm also finding, yep, searching. But I think trying to find. Because you could say, I'm looking for my pen. Where is it? Because I've lost it. So you're trying to find it. You know, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just looking for some information online. So I'm trying to find that information online. I didn't find it yet, but I'm trying. So there's a difference between I found and I'm I'm trying. Okay, good. Um, now I've got. Uh, we can do this, so we can read it together, and we've got to fill in the words. The same words that we saw from the little short video. So if you remember the words, Dr. Adrian Seymour, that's him, that's a subject, is, remember we use to be, we use is when we're talking about our nationality, our age, our location, um, our adjectives, you know, he is tall, um, and also his job, he is a filmmaker. So we use is to be, which comes from the verb to be, and is is for he, she, it. So he is a film maker. No, that's the title of a job, a film maker. So it's spelt... It's the same word that was in the video. Uh, sorry, no, this word was not in the short video. So it was film maker. So he is a filmmaker. That's a job title. It's like saying he is a doctor. He is a lawyer. He is a filmmaker. He makes films. You could say the same with he is a cake maker because he makes cake. He is a home maker because he builds homes. So maker means to do something and he does films. He makes films. 
And his work is often on TV, natural programs, nature programs. Recently, he went, so it's in the past, but recently he went to the Honduran, yeah, rainforest. Yep. Recently, he went. That comes from the verb to go, but it's in the past, so he went. Why? Do you remember when we add to verb? Do you remember when we looked at the infinitive? Um, the infinitive of purpose, when we add the reason why we do something. So you could just say, he went to Honduras, full stop. But I want to tell you why he went to Honduras. So I have to say, he went to Honduras to verb, to film, that's an action, to film, animals, that humans rarely, rarely, yep, rarely. The E is silent. Rarely. The L-Y makes a Lee. So rarely. Okay. That humans hardly see. Like humans do not see them much. So he went there to film them because we don't see them much, these animals. They're hard to see. They're at night. They're dangerous to be around them. So he went to film them so he can show the world these animals that are that we don't get to see much. So rarely see. Working, so you can start your sentence with a verb if it's in the ing, or it could be to work. So you can start a sentence with the action. So working with a team, a team of people, Adrian, put camera traps in different places and waited and waited and waited for four weeks. Then he collects then he collects uh, that's what I'm thinking because he waited and waited and waited and then he collected, we could put it in the past, and then he collected um, the traps and so he collected them, he picked them up and took them, studied and studied the pictures back at his office. So he's looking at the picture and he's seeing what's happening. He's studying it. He's looking for, you know, what's happening in the picture. And he studied his pictures back at his office. The same how when you take your book and you go home with your textbook and you study your book at home. You look at it, you know, you understand it, you go through the grammar, you go through everything. So you study it. Um. Okay, back at his office. Now we're going to do um, something really interesting. This is from last uh, time when we were up to here. So in number eight and nine, you're going to work in groups and you're going to pretend that you are filmmakers, just like him, that you want to do a documentary. So, for example, we have people like, You'd know Steve Irwin, right? This guy. So you can pretend you're him and you want to do a documentary about uh, crocodiles or tigers. There's this guy as well, Bear Grylls. Does anyone know this guy? He does crazy documentaries. Extreme, like I can't even explain the stuff he does. You have to watch his documentary. See, like he, I don't know, he's buried in the sand here. One time he slept in the camel's carcass, like the body of a camel. He does very strange things. He eats very strange things that are in the wildlife. So he does documentary. His documentary is called 
wild uh, sorry man versus wild very interesting or you've got someone like david um edinburgh very popular we all know him he's english man. so he does amazing documentaries so in a team um you're going to pretend that you're you could um pretend you're you're any one of these people or it doesn't matter and you're going to give your documentary a name. So last time we had Team One, they called their documentary Flying Around the Earth. Team Two had Reptiles in the Sahara Desert. Team Three had a documentary about the King of the Jungle. So they're talking about the lion. And Team Four had a documentary, The Hidden Frog of the Amazon. So in your team, you're going to pretend so imagine, pretend that you're going to create a documentary. So think, what is it about? Because you can't do a documentary about all animals. Is it about lions, elephant, tigers, snakes, what? And you have to give your documentary a title. So make it nice and interesting, like the king of the jungle. That's about lion. Reptiles in the Sahara Desert. The hidden frog of the Amazon. Flying around the earth. I think that was about a bird. Um, yeah. So I'll put you into teams. You're going to create a documentary and then you're going to come up and you're going to tell us what your documentary is about. So you're going to say, we as a team are doing a documentary about elephants in, Af in Thailand. Why? Because we feel that the elephants are treated very bad and we want to make sure that the world can see what is happening in Thailand and um, these elephants that they're not taken care of, that they're getting, you know, it's not good what's happening to them. So you have to make up a reason why you want to film what you want to film. And the bit, then we're going to take a vote and we're going to see which team wins. Does that make sense? <laughs> I can't remember which team won last time, but you have to create a documentary. Okay, so I'll put you into teams and then we'll come and um, do the document. Okay, so we're going to do a documentary um, presentation. So we, the task was to imagine that you are filmmakers and you want to do a documentary about some animal. So you have to create an idea, which animal, why, what are you going to do, what's the plan. So this is to use our grammar of we are going to, using the present continuous, um, or you could use the future simple, we will. So remember, it's imagined, it hasn't happened yet. We are going to, to tell um, everyone this is our plan, this is what we are going to do, and we're going to tell the people arrangements. We will stay here, we will do this. Um, so let's listen. So the first documentary that from the first team, Wilda, Letizia and um, Daniel are going to present a documentary. So let's see their idea. And remember everyone, we have to vote. So this is team one. I'm going to give you a sticker at the end and you're going to write which number, which team you vote for. So this is team one. But like I said, I will give you uh, a sticker and you just remember the numbers. We have three teams. So team one, as we say, take it away, which means um, uh, which means present. Like show us what you've got. Just one. Okay, let's watch. So. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hi, welcome to our team one. Your channel of naturally Latin. Latin natural. Who went to be a foreigner? No. Yeah. Ah. We're going to, yeah, we're going to think as far as the set, as all of you do. 
in Manaus, in Brazil. Uh, because their life and their stories is very cool. The Pinaruku is the large, largest project water. Which <laughs> in the world? Right question. Three meters. Meter. 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 From Australia, yep. keep going. Yeah, because I'll put an image weighing three meters and to, to Brazil and you see the help of lo uh, local people. Yep, I, I, I was able to reach the service. We are, we are going to mm -hmm. observe, observe his life for their life for three months. We were navigating. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to navigate, navigate the Amazon Rive to find to find it. Soil? I think it was set for full sun. Okay. I I travel. I travel. G from Australia to Brazil. Hello. We are to Brazil um, with um, the help of local people. We are going uh, to with themselves. Rich. Oi, oi, tá me ouvindo? Okay. 
Okay, so we have another documentary. Um, so and remember, the grammar has to be we are going to. This is our plan. This is what we want to film. This is the idea. This is the plan. Um, okay, let's watch team number two. Their documentary is called The King of the Mountains. So let's watch. Team two. Is it the travelers team? Yeah. Uh, we are talking about the king of the mountains, the golden eagle. The eagles live in the mountain and lowlands. There are there are a great hunters. There are solitary birds. Solitary solitary birds and the eagles fought in the winter. For two months. We are going to be living near the mountains of Alaska with five hidden cameras in trees. We are going to capture the exclusive king and the king of queen. the mountains. Queen. queen, the golden eagle. This is place of dangerous people. Leaves coming when is a French term, French hunter. Talking is coming for our ways of water, they high speed of to 115 kilometers pre over. are going to be extremely difficult. We are going to face extreme cold. We might lose cameras and crew. Oh then my God. We are know. going to capture and deliver a great job. Good. <laughs> we can do We can do it. Exactly. <laughs> The wonderful eagle. Yes. Perfect. At least you too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Follow me in the travel theme. Okay, so Jimin's one is called The Last Line, and she sent us a documentary video. So we'll watch that one. So this is Team Three from Jimin. Good dangerous. 
Okay, so thank you, Jimin. That would be your documentary. So Jimin chose to do a documentary um, on the lions. So showing the mother's love, how the mother lion is protecting her cubs. Um, okay, so now that was team three. Now we have team four. And... I'll just quickly I'll just quickly um get ready. So the last team is about um a documentary on these alligators. So let's have a listen. So the last team Brazil in the States of not close the film the Jacare Pantanal Gator. Yes, the boy. Brazil has six pets of alligators. And of the den in the Jacare Pantanal, we have decided to bring attention to trees animals because to and uh, Brazilian forbet, forbet, rooting alligators, hunting alligators, yes. But uh, they are still being killed uh, for their skin. This isn't an acceptable. So this skin is very expensive yeah. uh, because it is soft and used to produce shoes and bags. Yeah. Yeah. So we are going to make the film about the documentary in the hope that people stop hunting, yeah. hunting them and stop buying alligator made products. We want to keep this animal alive and well. Yes, so we keep this animal alive. Wow. 
Documentaries, thank you. So, um, okay, so make a vote. So, we had four teams team one, Latin Wild, team two, the King of the Mountains, team three, the Last Lion, team four, Save the Pantanal Alligators. Four documentaries. Which one did you like? So, make a number. Um, <laughs> Oh, it's a very hard choice. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> yes. Okay, so bring up your tickets to yeah. me. Yep, you can bring them to me. I'll count them and then we'll see who the winner is. Yeah. But you cannot put your number. No. Make sure you do not put your number. <laughs> what did you write? No. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. <laughs> ah, Fernando and you? Okay. Con mm -hmm. Conrado and you? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So not your number. Okay, it cannot be your team. You must put a different team. Ah, oh, you need one? Yes. There we go. Thank you. Yes. Yep. That's very interesting. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, did everybody give me their number? Thank you, but not your number. Must be another team. Okay, let's count them and see. And uh, Solange, which one did you like? Put a number. Are you still here, Solange? Ah, uh, Solange went. Okay, let me see. <laughs> Somebody put one and the last lion, different numbers. So is this one, who wrote this one? Whose is this one? Because number one is not the last lion. Or do you mean this is the one you want to win? Who wrote this one? The last lion. Who put the is this, I uh, know, who did this one? <laughs> we'll write this who write this one? It's the last lion. <laughs> Two winners because um, <laughs> it's even, there's four here and four. So there's two winners. The, <laughs> you ready? Yeah, thank you for the sound effects. So the best documentaries, actually we're pretty lucky because two documentaries are going to film. They're the two documentaries that are going to happen. They did really well. The votes are even. Even means like they're the same. Four for this team, four for this team. So two winners. Okay, you ready to hear who the winners are? The first one. Latin Wild, was that, uh, who's Latin Wild? <laughs> Daniel, Wilder, yes. And the second one, Save the Pantanal Alligators. Yes, <laughs> very good. And uh, the one that came after was The Last Lion. You had three, German. And then uh, The King of the Mountain. So two good documentaries there. Thank you. See you tomorrow. So well done. That's documentaries. Um, we'll finish there and we'll start tomorrow.